Okay, I haven't had a chance to do anything um, RC related in the last couple of weeks. We've had crappy weather, uh, not worth getting out in. Um, I've been busy with work and other things. Uh, so I'm finally starting to get back into things a little bit here and I'm, I'm really ready to do some long range FPV flying. Um, this is my Diablo plane. Normally I use this plane for uh, tree dodging, flying around low, fast, uh, dodging trees. I've wrecked it like probably five times, mainly just hitting trees with it, branches and such. Uh, it's an easy plane to fly, it's nimble, it's uh, fast, it, uh, it flies really well. Uh, I did a couple of upgrades on it though. I replaced the 500 class helicopter tail booms with carbon fiber rods. They're 36 inches, I think. Uh, both sides really stiffen the tail up. Um, I also made this hatch on top and loaded it down. It's kind of messy right now. I haven't gotten the wires really tidy yet, but I've got my FY31AP, um, 72 megahertz receiver. I've got my OSD, the Cyclops Easy OSD, um, two GPSs, the work, everything I need in there. Got the 1.2 gigahertz video on the front. This is an 800 milliwatt uh, cloverleaf antenna and the 600 TV line camera on the nose, ready to go. Um, one of the main reasons I put my equipment in this particular plane is because the Skywalker that I had it in and the Sky Surfer that I had it in uh, was very difficult to get to the wiring and all that stuff. Everything's tucked in the fuselage. While the Skywalker's got a lot of room inside, it's not easy to work on anything inside. So I wanted something kind of like a, one of my wings that I have back here where everything just lays down easily accessible. I can tune it. I can do whatever I need to do. So that's what I came up with. Converted that plane uh, to a long-range FPV plane. Now I think that motor is going to give me enough thrust and it's going to be, you know, efficient enough. But if I have any problems with it, I have two smaller 1400 kV motors that can be mounted right on the front right there. One here, here. Of course I'll have to move this antenna a little bit. But I can turn it into a twin with uh, 8 inch props and that would work pretty well also I believe. So yeah this is going to get flying this weekend hopefully if the weather um, holds up. So I'll, I'll take this out and I'm really going to gonna go for the long range. Basically I, I didn't want to, you know the Skywalker is uh, heavy. I wanted something a little lighter, a little more efficient. Um, and so yeah this is what I'm going to go with. Also Look for a quick review and my opinion and uh, my experience with installing, yes, the new Dragonlink 2.0. I'm really excited. I got that in today. That's a 16 inch, I think that's a 16 inch uh, whip antenna. The receiver, 24 inch antenna for the receiver. My JR plug to connect to my XP8103, which I'm teetering on the verge of replacing that with something that I can uh, control my head tracker with. I can't use my head tracker with the JR radio, so it's probably going to be a Futaba 9C here pretty soon so I can get um, my head tracker going. So yeah, I'll be doing a video here in the next week or so of the Dragon Link, doing a review on that. I'll also be doing a review on the New Horizon HD 1080p camcorder. This is version 3. Um, be installing that in one of the planes and doing a review for that. And that's going to be coming up here in the next week or two uh, as well. Ready to get back into it and I'm excited. I got a lot of new stuff to try. I've got um, quads to fly, tricopters to fly. And this tricopter, which uh, started out as a quad, but uh, I converted it to a tricopter. That's flying a multi-wee light board, which uh, is kind of cool. Um, it's interesting, to say the least. I'm using the, I think they're Hex Hextronic DT700 motors, and I'm flying that on 4S. And man, it's punchy. So I'm enjoying that. 
and I also have a bill that I'm about to start, uh, two bills I'm about to start. One is going to be an H-copter um, using probably a multi-wee board and uh, I'll be also building a new flying wing, probably a 60 inch flying wing that's going to be designed for FPV as well. So yeah, that's what I got going on on the plate right now. I haven't made a video in a long time because I just hadn't had a chance to do anything and the weather's been crummy. So keep an eye open. I'll have some new stuff coming up soon. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.